Amid all the talk of tightening polls, a reminder this race has been remarkably consistent in a certain way, even if not particularly steady, even if the news has been otherwise. Every time the Republican nominee has done or said something seemingly beyond the pale, from attacking a federal judge over his family's Mexican heritage to starting a feud with the family of a fallen soldier to mocking a former Miss Universe's weight, even getting caught on tape bragging about sexual assault, then having 12 women come forward and accuse him of sexual assault. Every time Donald Trump has said or done something that would have ended any other candidate's White House bid, the polls soften for a period of time, but then they return to the status quo. Our next guest has a theory as to why that's happening. Joining him now, documentary filmmaker Michael Moore. His latest film, Michael Moore in Trumpland, is playing in select theaters and also available on iTunes. And you, you've got this line about it being him being a Molotov cocktail, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's and it, and it, I think it jives with things I've heard from Trump voters. Um, and even folks who are not super hardcore Trump voters, but probably, mm -hmm. which is, people acknowledge his flaws. It's, it, I mean, there's a certain hardcore that have like a personality cult, but a lot are just like, yeah, he says dumb stuff. Right. right. <laughs> like like right. they will tell you that. Right. I mean, you said he's like a Molotov cocktail. And then Donald Trump tweeted at you, I agree, Michael. <laughs> to all Americans, I see you and I hear you. I am your voice. Vote to drain the swamp. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Well, I'm, you know, there's one thing about him, he has no filters, and, uh, and the fact that he would acknowledge what I'm trying to point out to people, that he is intending to blow up the system. Right, and he's, he's, you're right. He's a, he, in, in it, he tweets me, he's a self-acknowledged anarchist who plans to go in there and just blow things up. So, um, so I think this is something that we need to be very concerned about. The other part of this, though, too, is, is all those things you listed about uh, uh, every time something bad happens to him, he, he dips for a second, but then he just gets stronger. I can't remember the name of that science fiction film from the 50s, but the creature that right. anytime any negative energy right. comes at him, it just makes the creature stronger. Although, although it doesn't, it's not that he gets stronger, it's that he returns to this kind of base of support, right? Like, it's yeah. not like he gets, you yeah. know, he's got... Well, that's true. Yeah, and, and what happened with Comey, uh, you know, he hasn't really picked up any new votes from that. Uh, she hasn't really lost any, any. I think the real danger of what the FBI director did is that her, and I hear this now, I've been out, you know, in a couple right. states here in the last few days, her, um, her support, a small percentage of it, has weakened in the sense that they're still going to vote for her. It's but enthusiasm. It's, it's totally down. It's like, it's this bummer right. idea, Correct. right? It's the bummer. It's the bummer, it's and the... it's like, okay, yes, I'm still voting for her. Right, and it's, and it's also, it's, it strikes me as also for folks that lived through the 90s, right? It's a sort of reminder of the, the sort of like star chamber, uh, Spanish Inquisition <laughs> yes. kind of treatment of Bill Clinton. Right. And this idea in the back of your head, even if you're a partisan Democrat, a liberal, even if you're supporting her, like, oh my God, this is going to be the next four years. That, that's part of well, it, too. And even people that support her or are going to vote for her go, I can't believe she did. Right. And I go, like, what? What did she do? It, it, what, does <laughs> right. she, what does she have to do with Anthony Weiner? That's right. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it's, she has nothing to do with him. Why are we talking about this? Why does he have anything to do with this? But it's, it's, I just think that, um, uh, you know, it's, I watched uh, Morning Joe <laughs> this morning. They played this uh, The Way We Were theme song right. underneath all these Democrats who three months ago were praising Comey and right, right. Oh, you're the greatest <laughs> thing since sliced bread. If I could take you home and marry you, I would. Comey, I love you. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> but that's part, of, I mean, that is part of the, the fundamental dynamic here. It's something you, you talk about in Trump land. It's something I think that you, I think you have a really interesting perspective on because I think you, um, um, I think you find the polarization, the partisan polarization in the country unnerving and upsetting, even if you have very strong f political views, right? So I don't think you think you're a centrist, but I think you think that the degree to which we're in these sort of partisan corners is, is upsetting. Well, it's, no, I think it's okay. I think we, I have strong feelings about the right. things I believe in, right. and, and those who are, don't believe in what I believe in and feel strongly. But we've, we've lost our way in the sense where we can just have the great debate and then get on with it. The Republican candidate has said that if he loses the debate, if he loses the vote, he's essentially called for inciting riots, which I think is still against the law. Right. You know, this was a law that was set up mainly against unions and black people and, right. you know, lefties. But I think, the, I think the FBI director should be paying him a visit, asking him, what are you actually intending on November 9th should you lose? 
What are you telling? Right, although we will, we don't people. We, right, but we also don't want. Look, I, look. no, we don't want. No, we don't want. <laughs> we don't want I don't want them arrested want or first anything. Amendment no. of a candidate to be no. hemmed in by the no. FBI director. But if he is, <laughs> but if he's planning, if we're liberal, I mean, if, if he's yeah. planning for riots, we need to plan for okay, them ourselves. Okay, but I don't look, look. I don't think he's planning for riots. I think. I think that. I think this. What I think has happened is a sort of consistent undermining of the of the notion of the integrity of the process. Right. I mean, that has been the sort of common theme. If I'm losing, then it's rigged. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, listen, I think, listen, here's my big concern right now is that, and especially with this ABC poll out today yeah. where he's ahead by a point, that I know there's, uh, I've, just walking in here, liberals on the streets of New York, Mike, Mike, what are we going to do? I said, man, come on, buck up a little bit here. You know, yes, it's, yes, treat it, I've been saying this for months, right? Trump right. can win. Right. I've been one of the few on the left that's right. been saying right. this. Right. Okay, now everybody gets it. Right. Nobody's nobody's right. sitting back watching us right now right. going, oh, the heck with all right. this. That's right. That's right. There's right? no complacency. None of that anymore. Right. So we're done with that. Right. Now, let's get excited about the fact that we live in a very liberal country. You go down right. any of the issues, the majority of our fellow Americans agree with us. Climate change, paying women the same, And And possibly et cetera, et cetera. poised on the six, of seven, six out of seven national elections, presidential elections, with, with a, a Democratic uh, yes. plurality majority. I want to... Yes. And, and two of those elections, by the way, our fellow Americans voted for a guy whose middle name was... was Hussein. Hussein. Who, who is a good segue because he said something today that echoed something that you've been saying uh, about how men feel about the first woman president. I want to play that for you if you'll stick around. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Break. Yeah, All right. Great. Yeah. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.